Hello again, this is Sir Moy, and for today's video, we're going to discuss about the sum of geometric sequence. Let's see, okay, man. Ay, sorry, po. na dito. Pero tama siya. We're going to discuss about the sum of geometric sequence. Okay. Pag sinabi natin sum, automatically, ibig sabihin, may mga inaad. Sagot siya sa addition. So, ang gagawin mo lang, i-add mo lang yung mga sequence. Like for example, 3, 6, 12, and 24. Kunin natin yung sum niyan. Wait, check muna natin kung geometric sequence siya. Paano nga ulit natin malalaman? Yes, i-divide natin yung second term. Sa first term, third term sa second term, fourth term sa third term. Kailangan magkakaparehas ang lumabas na sagot or yung quotient o yung tinatawag nating common ratio. Okay, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 12 divided by 6 is also 2. And 24 divided by 12 is also 2. Confirm. This series of number is geometric sequence. So, para malaman natin yung sum, just simply add the numbers. So, we have 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 is equal to 25. Sorry, 45 pala. O, ba Madali lang? Sir, madali lang pala. Ba't kailangan pa natin kumamit ng mga formula? Formula na yan. Ang dami-dami pa niya ni. Yes, tama ka. Madali lang talaga to. Magkakaroon ka nga lang ng problema pag yung problem mo is mahaba. Like for example, find the sum of the first 20 terms of 3, 6, 12, and 24. So ibig sabihin, hahanapin mo pa yung ibang term bago mo siya makuha yung sum. Ah, kaya pala. Now I know sir. We have two formula para makita natin yung sum ng geometric sequence. Una, ito. Pangalawa, ito. Ginagamit natin yung formula na to pag meron tayong value ng a sub n. Ano ba yung a sub n? Yung a sub n, siya yung last term. Ginagamit naman natin yung formula na to pag hindi natin alam yung last term. Mag-example tayo na gamit ang formula na to. So, Find the sum of the given geometric sequence 6, 18, 54, 162, and 486. So, gagamitin natin yung formula na to. Kasi meron tayong first term, meron tayong last term. Okay, kunin natin yung mga given para masubstitute natin sa formula. So, we have a sub 1 which is yung first term. Yes, 6. Next, n. N means ilan lahat ng terms natin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very good. So, meron tayong limang terms. Next, R. Ano nga ulit yung R? Common ratio. I-divide natin yung second term sa first term, third term, sa second term, and so on and so forth. So, in this case, we have 18 divided by 6 is 3. 54 divided by 18 is 3 also. 162 Divided by 54 is also 6. And 486 divided by 162 is also 3. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong common difference na 3. Okay, substitute na natin yung mga given sa formula. So, magkakaroon tayo ng equation na S sub 5 is equal to 6, which is yung A sub 1, minus 486, which is yung A sub N, multiplied by 3, which is yung common ratio divided by 1 minus 3 Okay unahin natin yung nasa numerator na 486 times 3 bibigyan ka nun ng 1458 Next yung nasa denominator naman which is yung 1 minus 3 bibigyan ka nun ng negative 2 Kaya magkakaroon ka ng equation na S sub 5 is equal to 6 minus 1458 divided by negative 2. 
Okay, subtract natin yung numerator. 6 minus 1,458 is equal to negative 1,452. Divided by negative 2 is, yes, 726. Positive siya kasi parehas silang negative. Okay, gamitin naman natin yung formula na to. You know, so in this problem, we have find the first eight term of the geometric sequence 6, 18, 54, 162, 486, and so on and so forth. Kung mapapansin nyo, lima lang yung binigay. Pero ang tanong, first eight term. Since first eight terms ang inahanap ng problem na to, magagamit na natin yung formula na to. Yes. So, para magamit natin yan, kunin natin lahat ng given. We have a sub 1 is equal to 6. R natin ay common ratio. So, ganun ulit. Didivide natin yung second term sa first term. Nakuha na natin kanina yon, Which is 3. 18 divided by 6. Okay, next. Yung N naman natin. Ilan yung hinahanap natin sa problem? Yes, 8 term. So, ibig sabihin, 8 yung N natin. Yan. Substitute na natin ngayon yung mga given sa formula. So, magkakaroon tayo ng S sub 8 is equal to 6, which is yung first term, minus 6, first term ulit, multiplied by 3, which is yung R, raised to 8, which is yung N, divided by 1 minus 3. Yung R din yun, yung 3. So, magkakaroon tayo ng equation na S sub 8 is equal to 6 minus 6 times 6,561 divided by negative 2. So, unahin natin i-multiply ang 6 times 6,561. And it will give you 39,366. I-minus natin yung 6. Magkakaroon tayo ng negative 39,360 divided by negative 2. Kaya ang magiging sagot natin ay 19,680. Positive siya kasi negative yung ibabaw, negative yung ilalim. Negative divided by negative is positive. You know, kung may natutunan ka sa video na to, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi ka updated sa mga video ko. See you again soon!